the historical development of the Castleton Botanical Gardens in Jamaica. The Gardens at the Castle Castleton Botanical Gardens, located some 20 kilometers north of Kingston in a small village of Castleton St. Mary, Jamaica. On approximately 12 acres of land with a valuation of 496 feet above sea level and is well protected by the hills. The gardens have been in existence for approximately 150 years and were officially established in November 1862. The choice of location was a subject of much criticism. It was argued that the location was in audition and is vulnerable to natural disaster such as flooding. Castleton Botanical Gardens, one of five major botanical gardens in Jamaica and the oldest public botanical gardens in the Western Hemisphere. The garden at the castle was established on the site of a sugar plantation owned by the English planter Colonel Castle who in 1869 gifted the property to the government of Jamaica. The actual formation of the botanical gardens was entrusted to Nathaniel Wilson who was the appointed botanist whose previous job was with the care of Bath Gordon and Robert Thompson was his assistant. Wilson had been in the garden at Kew and at Kensington for several years and was deemed the most capable man to care for the gardens. He did not receive the support from the government of Jamaica for Castleton Garden as he had expected. Many important individuals who could have contributed to the development of the gardens treated the gardens with indifference and stinginess. Wilson worked assiduously with the gardens at the castle and it has really paid off and has become the most richly stocked gardens in the Caribbean and one of the great gardens in the hemisphere. The gardens subsequently gained the rupture as the flagship of botanical gardens in Jamaica and was the center for overseas exchange of plants with the botanical gardens. This recognition did not go unnoticed as the famous Dr. Joseph Ucker from the garden at the Kew generously supplied 400 specimens from the vast botanical resources of his metropolitan garden in 1869. Among the 400 specimens are mangosteen, Brazil nut, carob bean, cocoa, teak, and New Zealand flex, which are no longer evident for visitors. However, there are different species of palms, such as fishtail, Ladyfinger, Cluster Sugar, Spinny Fishtail, And the velvet apple or black ebony plant, this plant is used to make the keys of the piano. The gardens at the castle is divided by the main road which runs directly through the property dividing the gardens into two sections. The upper southern portion consists of the lily pond. The lily pond is another feature of botanical gardens that was introduced to the garden by Nathaniel Wilson. He then created a 1500 square foot lily pond about a year after he started working at Castleton Botanical Garden. He built the pond for the wonder Victoria Jira lily, 
hoping that implementing this feature would entice others to show some interest in the garden. The lily pond over the years suffered from neglect and fell into disrepair. However, the formal garden is devoted to many economic plants and experimental cultivations which were introduced mainly for its economic value with trees such as jade vine, physic nut, alligator, Torch Ginger and Cinnamon. The gardens also consist of different types of flowers such as Croton, Indian Laurel and Poor Man's Orchid among others. Not to mention the fruit trees such as Mango Cherry and Lychee. Mr. Zadik Peku, tour guide of the Castleton Botanical Garden. Mr. Peku is known as one of the longest serving tour guides at the gardens. He has formed a part of few persons who are familiar with the history of the gardens, which he will now share with us. Yes, I'm a tour guide. I'm here over 30 odd years now. Yeah, because I used to work in the garden first before I built it. After I retired out, then the take me back to be the tour guide. My experience about the garden, to know the plants and then, and I told when the visitors comes in, yeah, I tell them the name, but they are, now they tag all of the trees them know most, and so it come like the tour guide is working out. <laughs> Tourists used to be here a lot first time, okay. but one and few know, okay. they, yeah, and so, we still have to come to see, yes, in the morning I still come to see if anything is going on. Though I don't get pay. Because it's the visitors have to pay me. Fever grass. 